Rob, what's our first main topic today? John, our first main topic comes to us from Alan Renshaw. I just saw an article on Variety that said Joe Manganiello will co-direct an upcoming documentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Considering he's one of the biggest fans of the IP and he runs his own celebrity game, what do you think of this news? <laughs> All right, man. Thanks so much for sending that in. I appreciate that. I actually had to run and grab my phone uh, because <laughs> there's an image I forgot that I need uh, Jonathan to bring up on screen here. And I will get that to you in just a second. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, yes. Number one, <laughs> I am a huge Dungeons and Dragons guy. I'm also a big Kyle Newman guy. I have been a big fan of Kyle Newman ever since um, he did Fanboys. And I remember it was, uh, I first got, kind of came into loose contact with Kyle. Oh my God. It's got to be getting close to 14, 15 years ago now. Yeah. When I was making my first little movie, I was making the anniversary and Kyle Newman was aware of the movie blog and stuff like that. And he knew I was a fan of fanboys. So he had an autographed fanboys poster sent over to me. Uh, and that was really kind of my first thing. And I, I just had the privilege last month of going to the premiere of his new movie, One Up, uh, that was done in Hollywood there. Super, he's been on my my panel. Love the guy, Joe Manganiello, of course. I mean, he's kind of the most famous Dungeons and Dragons player in the world. And Kyle and him play in a, in a regular D&D &D game. And now they're actually doing a documentary in cooperation with Hasbro about this. I got to tell you, man, I love this. I love that we're getting a Dungeons and Dragons movie coming out that we were all suspicious about. But then that first trailer dropped and it's like, you know what? That looks actually kind of fun. Remember, they dropped it at CinemaCon, right? Yeah. We, and we're like, that looks way more fun than I thought it was going to be. Uh, hopefully the movie turns out well. But let me tell you something about Kyle Newman and, and Joe here. These guys are walking, in, especially Kyle, is a walking encyclopedia of the world and the history of Dungeons and Dragons. He's literally written the book. He did. On Dungeons and Dragons. Kyle Isn't it has. a cookbook? Didn't they write a cookbook? He, he, first of all, he did the definitive book on the history of the art in Dungeons and Dragons right. books, which is like one of the best books on a, on a topic I've seen in a long time. Then he actually did a, a cookbook of recipes of Dungeons and Dragons stuff, which was absolutely amazing. So the fact that Kyle and Joe are doing this documentary to me is perfection. I These are the two right guys to be doing this. They are the biggest cheerleaders in the world and, and advocates for Dungeons and Dragons. I think this is fantastic. I can't wait to watch this. And they're doing it in cooperation with Hasbro. Um, so it's, it's terrific. Anyway, Rob, you heard about this news. What do you think of it? Well, it's funny. Uh, I think it's great, but Kyle Newman, I, I ended up meeting Kyle Newman because after I had made this movie free enterprise that had William Shatner in it and Kyle Newman made fanboys that also had William Shatner in it. And for what, for whatever, whatever reason, because, you know, mine was star Trek based and his was star Wars based in the fan circles. People were like, pit him against me. Like people oh, like, what do you think right. about Kyle Newman? And I'm like, well, I've never met Kyle Newman. You know, I, I I never really thought we were in some kind of a rivalry. And then I eventually met Kyle Newman. That guy, one of the nicest people in the world. Such a nice guy. He's oh, he's so, awesome. He's he great. so sweet and so very handsome, too. Uh, just really nice to me. Very complimentary. <laughs> me and I just, we laughed about it because he was getting kind of the same thing that I was getting. By the way, I was literally standing like three feet to Joe's left when this picture was taken. I know exactly when when where this picture was taken. I think you were there with us that night, weren't you? Right? Mm -hmm. with, yeah, that's right. Okay. Anyway, sorry. No, it's just very, it's just I I love Kyle, and I think look, there's no two better guys to make this documentary than them. I mean, I just like to see because look, this is this is going to be something that's going to be thoroughly researched. It's not going to be a puff piece. You're gonna I think you're gonna learn a lot about Dungeons and Dragons and the whole thing, but you've got Joe and Kyle collaborating on something like this. What's not to love? I didn't realize Sam played with them too. Well, it's actually that this is the release of one of Kyle's books. It was this was and that's a Art and Arcanum. Oh, gotcha. Dungeons and Dragons book because Sam actually contributed to the book as well and Joe contributed to the book as well. And uh yeah, and, and it's a fantastic book. I, I've got it in in my living room. I oh, love yeah. this book. But by the way, I got a I got a bone to pick though. I got a bone to pick <laughs> with Kyle and Joe. Uh oh. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's great. You're making this little because in the in the news story, the headlines that Joe and Kyle are making this with Hasbro, right? 
and Wizards of the Coast, which is owned by Hasbro, all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, good for you. Good for you. Where is my executive producer credit? More, ex more importantly, where's my wife's, And Because you want to know who introduced Kyle and Joe to Hasbro? Who literally brought Kyle and Joe to Hasbro for the first time? She brought them in to Hasbro to do like a day talking about Dungeons and Dragons. Bring that picture up. This is actually the day that my wife, Anne, and uh, it's, you got to understand, Anne is not that short. <laughs> Joe is 6'5". Kyle Anne's is not like, fitting either. <laughs> yeah, and Kyle is, is like uh, almost 6'5". So my wife's over five feet tall. This is the day my wife literally brought Joe and Kyle and introduced them to Hasbro. So now that they're making this Dungeons and Dragons documentary, damn it, I want my executive producer credit. Newman, make it happen. It's, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. But yeah, so there it is. I, I, just, I just wanted to throw that in there. How cute is my At wife? At least they could put this picture maybe in the documentary. Yeah, maybe that. How, by the way, how cute is my wife in her little dungeon master robe i actually remember the day kyle came in we were at the uh, yeah. we were shooting in hollywood at the yeah, time that's right kyle came and in, kyle came in and was talking yeah about the book anyway all right guys uh question is for you i mean i know not all of you guys play dungeons and dragons but you really should it's a lot of fun it's a great thing to do together what do you think about this do you think these are the right two people to be making a documentary like this i'm very very excited about it how do you feel about it jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Raycon. Now you guys know I've been using Raycon as a part of my morning routine for a long time now. I love getting up, getting on my treadmill, pulling out my iPad and watching my favorite tech YouTubers like Linus Tech Tips, another good Canadian kid by the way. And my Raycon wireless earbuds come through for me every time. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips with the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they will not budge. Trust me, my Raycons give me eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. And one of the best things about Raycons is that they are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycons everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. And when I'm on my treadmill, the earbud tap functions help me stay hands-free and the noise isolation is fantastic. So guys, go to buyraycon.com today and use the promo code Campia15 to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's code Campia15 at buyraycon.com to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com, code Campia15.